they pose a greater threat today than they did six months ago, and we're taking it very seriously. As the U.S. continues to carry out airstrikes against ISIS, they are also monitoring the possibility that the next generation of Islamic militants could come from within the United States border. It's a problem in many countries, and we, we face that problem here in America. You have been at the forefront of the aggression towards the Islamic State. Authorities are already investigating the possibility that the man heard in the Foley video might be from America's strongest ally. From what we've seen, it looks increasingly likely that it is a British citizen. The problem authorities are facing is how to track down citizens with potential ties to these terrorist groups. The FBI is looking at data analytics. They're looking at mosques. They're looking at databases, no-fly lists, uh, travel in particular. Young people just don't disappear into the Middle East for months or years at a time. ISIS is already recruiting the next generation of militants in the U.S. through propaganda video. But new technology leads to new challenges. We don't have a political police in this country. So the FBI, you know, cannot go after people on Facebook and just simply knock on their doors, the ones that are suspicious. ISIS recruiting efforts have already attracted American members. We're tracking 100 Americans who are over there now fighting for ISIS. Having an American citizen, you know, fighting for them in Syria and Iraq is a legitimizing factor. They want to show that ISIS is a universal movement. The FBI issued a bulletin on Friday warning law enforcement agencies to be aware of threats from ISIS and their efforts to garner support through social media. They know how to make homemade devices, uh, you know, from, from materials they could obtain here, including the detonators. So they certainly have the capacity to launch an attack here. American citizens have already been investigated for possible ties to Islamic militant groups. A North Carolina man was stopped in August at JFK Airport on a gun charge, but was questioned at length for tweets he sent supporting ISIS. And a Colorado woman was arrested by the FBI in April for conspiracy to provide material support to terrorists. Looking for suspicious activity, tweets and travel information might lead investigators to the next potential threat to the homeland. As we look ahead and look forward, uh, we are going to do what is necessary to protect Americans. Uh, and so if we see plotting against Americans, we see uh, a threat uh, to the United States emanating from anywhere, we stand ready to take action.